Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752 with this your daily go get number 802 for December 14th, oh, December 13th, 2016. Tonight I want to talk to y'all about being motivated by greed and lust. <sighs> motivated by greed and lust. How many people do we know are motivated by greed and lust? Probably a lot of people. So what should we talk about first? Should we talk about the greed or should we talk about lust? Let's talk about the greed first. Because that's the easy one. You know what it's like to be greedy? People are greedy for a lot of different reasons. Normally when we talk about being greedy, we're talking about lusting after money. Trying to get as much money as you possibly can. But greed crosses over into so many different parts of our lives that we can't limit it to money. Now when somebody is greedy for money, they're usually ruthless as far as business is concerned. And they're not always doing business. Somebody who's greedy for money might steal the money. They might become a, a professional thief, cat burglar, you know, on some old, on some old, you know, knowing how to pick locks and, and, and dismantle um, um, alarm systems and things like that. But the, the premise behind greed is that when you're motivated by greed, greed means that you have more. You want more than what you need. So you believe in having things in excess. You believe in having more than you, more than you need more than you could ever do anything with. You know, when we start talking about uh, the United States of America and when we start talking about corporate America inside of the United States of America, we are definitely talking about greed. Let's take the oil industry. The oil industry has been, has been giving it to us with no Vaseline for years and years. From, I, I believe, 2010 all the way until, uh, I think, when Obama, well, let's just say, when the oil prices uh, went down, when gas prices went down at the pump. And I believe that was in 2015, maybe like the middle of 2015. I believe that they've been, they've been down for all of 2016. So from 2010, from the, the fall of 2010, all the way until, until uh, mid-2015, we have been pummeled with high gas prices over three dollars a gallon and and none of it was for any reason um dealing with a, a shortage or anything like that it was basically uh supply and demand and not having anywhere to go so the oil industry wasn't wasn't concerned about whether people could afford the gas prices or not they just got more than what they what they needed because they could just because they could so if anything should happen where there was a shortage of gas or anything like that, then they already got paid up front. So, you know, they would tell you that there were terror alerts and, and they, they had color code terror alerts and all that kind of stuff. And none of that stuff had anything to do with the price of oil. They just raised the prices because they could and they did. And that's just greed. But people are greedy, greedy for money. People, people are greedy for food. People are greedy for sex. People are greedy for for love, people are greedy, just, you know, um, um, for, for people, greedy for attention, you know, just greed, 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 and greed is never a good thing, yeah, I'm going to say that again, greed is never a good thing, because whenever you're greedy, that means that you are excessive, and it means that you have more than what you need, it means that you want things in an unmanageable amount, and how can anything be good if you can't manage it, so, you know, some people say that, there are certain things that you can't have too much of, and I dispute that any day. People say that you can't have too much love in your life. Yes, you can. Because love doesn't mean the same thing to everybody. So somebody's interpretation of what love is may diff be different than, than what yours is or what the next man's is. So that's how heads can clash and, and communication can break down and, and, and love doesn't feel like love anymore. Water. People say you can't get too much air and water. You can, how can you say you can't have, you, you can't drink too much water? Oh yeah, put your head on the ground. See if you, if you agree that you can't have too much water. Air, same thing, same thing. You know, if you get too much air in your lungs, you, you can suffocate on air. I mean, it's really not a hard concept to understand. I mean, in, in nature, nature, seeks to balance itself out and that's what we should do in order to make sure that things flow uh, seamlessly harmoniously 
and in a way that we can manage it well. Balance. You don't want too much of one thing. Like when the scales are like this, that ain't good. Because somebody is suffering on the, on the low end and somebody has too much on the, on the high end. But when it comes to things like money and things like that, people are so greedy that they don't care if they have more. They want more and they want more and they want more and they want more and they want more. They want more. So it is what it is. Motivated by greed. So when people are motivated by greed, they hang around with people who have more than they do so they can steal it from them. So they can find a way to get what they have from them. Because that's what greed does. You know, you find somebody that has more than what you what you have, and then you find a way to get from them what you want for yourself. So greedy people are not only not only are they diabolical and evil, but they're also jealous. Because when you're greedy, you don't want you you look unfavorably upon somebody who has more than you, and that's how jealousy works. You want to take from somebody what they have and you want it for yourself and you don't want them to have it, have it anymore. That's why jealousy is so destructive and that's why greed is no good. Lust. People who are motivated by lust. Now that's an easy one because when you start talking about lust, you're just talking about sex. Motivated by sex. So basically your whole existence is motivated by your sexual experiences. This could be a very destructive road because you can wind up you know, spending all your money. So if you're greedy and you and you're lustful, so that means that you're spending all your money in a strip club. You're spending all your money on crap, on prostitution. You're spending all of your money, you know, trying to impress somebody who is impressed by money. It's it's a sad situation when you see somebody that's motivated by lust. They will allow themselves to be abused by somebody and controlled by somebody because of sex. Because that's what they're motivated by. So when somebody is motivated by lust, it's going to be hard for somebody who isn't really that sexually active in nature to deal with. Because somebody who's motivated by lust is going to want to do it all the time, all the time, all the time. We're not even just talking about your, your natural nymphomaniac or your freak. When you when you find somebody that's motivated by lust, they, they might get up in the morning... Do it to the person that, that that they're either married to or living with or going with. And they'll go to work and they'll have sex with somebody there. After work, they will mess around, you know, pay pay a hooker or something like that. You know, to get their dicks up or something like that. And, and then they'll go home after all of that and have sex with their girl again. Or bug or bug them. And that's on the male side. It's not that women aren't motivated by sex. But it, I, I, it's probably safe to say that they aren't as motivated by sex as men do, but some women really are. So you, you'll find some women that go to the go to all male reviews. You know, they mess around with exotic dancers all the time. Male exotic dancers all the time. And they'll pay. They'll pay a male exotic dancer a lot of money in order to be with them. So it's like, you know, they, they have that whole that whole cougar thing going on, but they don't have to necessarily be cougars. Because if they just like somebody that's the, that's in the limelight and to them, that's what a male exotic dancer is. He's on stage. You know, he should, he has a nice body or whatever. He's good looking to other women. Other women are screaming and all of that. She may look at him as the alpha male. And she will pay to be with that alpha male. It's crazy. It really is. And like I said, it may not be as bad for women as it is for men. But there, just like we did the show two weeks ago on the Urban Therapy with Sun show, there are plenty of women who have said that they stayed with a man just because his sex was good. Just because he was given that good wood. He had the banging salami. I mean, motivated by lust. I mean, it is what it is. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And remember, when you start talking about somebody who's motivated by greed, motivated by lust, and, and God forbid if they're motivated by both, what you have is a bit of a monster because you have somebody that's ruthless on one end as far as getting money and you have somebody who is careless on the other end as far as being sexual or getting sex, obtaining sex, having sex. And there's really, there's, there, there really isn't too much good that can come out of that, man. I mean, it's a downward spiral. 
And, um, you know, it's hard to deal with somebody who's motivated by, by their greed. Because that's not somebody that you could probably relate to if you are a decent person in any kind of way. You know, because, those, I mean, they are headed down that path of destruction. And they want to be headed down there because they want what they want. So whether it le leads to jail time, incarceration, whatever, and uh, or, or whether it leads to, you know, risking your life, putting your life on the line in order to get this money, whatever, or if it leads to... I mean, it could, it, listen, greed and lust can lead you to anywhere, anywhere, health, sickness. I mean, it, it, it gets bad. It really does. And it gets, gets to the point where we get a wake up call at some point in our lives. And it's just, it's just not a good look. It ain't no good look, son. It ain't. i tell you what is a good look. Tomorrow night, tomorrow night, December 14th. Is the Urban Therapy with Sun Show. The Urban Therapy with Sun Show tomorrow night we're talking about sneaking around on the internet. Sneaking around on the internet. Yeah, I'm talking to all my people out there that don't have no profile picture. Don't have no pictures of, none, uh, of their likeness on anywhere on their profile, yet they go to everybody else's profile. And they want to they wanna scrutinize pictures. And they want to they wanna hold conversations. And people don't even know who they're talking to online. So a lot of times these people who are sneaking around online are the ones that have fake profiles. So they go and, and they infiltrate other people's profiles that have probably blocked them and things like that. They go on, they, they, they do their detective work to try to go to their man's or, or their woman's uh, um, um, pages or whatever to try to bait them into um, getting into a cheating situation to see how they act. And it gets worse. When you start talking about sneaking around online, that's what predators too do. That's what sexual predators too do. I'm sorry, y'all. That's what sexual predators do. And it's absolutely what pedophiles do. It's absolutely what pedophiles do. So, I mean, for everybody who thinks it's sweet to, you know, to, to not reveal yourself online, to, to, to be sneaking around and act like, Everything is sweet like that. And just remember, it could really be a destructive path. So make sure y'all listen to the day. Uh, make sure y'all listen to the Urban Therapy with Sun Show tomorrow night, Wednesday night, December 14th, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's 7.30 Central Standard Time. My Central Standard Time piece, people, y'all know what it is, 7.30. It's going to be 5.30 in the afternoon, you know, 5.30 in the evening or whatever for my California people. Anyway, make sure y'all check it out. Same number as the Daily Go Get Emism Show. 319-527-6199. 319-527-6199. Blogtalkradio.com forward slash sun seven five two. Peace. One. Yeah. How is y'all later?